Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Well, welcome to the mess. Carpet day. You can see, got it pretty much cleaned out and swept up, ready to lay the carpet. I'm not putting padding down. It's still a cargo trailer, and it got padding's expensive too. But we got 13.8 volts. Batteries are up and charged. Got tons of power, and they're still actually hooked up out there. All right, let's unwind this thing. Got this at Lowe's. It was a remnant, 15 by a little over seven feet, and they just had a chunk laying there. Okay, got it rolled out, kind of. Scooting it around with my feet. Let it lay here a little bit. And I'll get cutting on this thing. Pretty simple install. I mean, it's just one piece. Alright, first cut. And I'm not the biggest <laughs> carpet installer, so I kind of cheat. I'm just screwing it in on the edges. No tack board. You know, it, it, it'll be good enough for now. It'll hold it in place. And there you go. I got a little more trimming, but it looks pretty good. I mean, that's pretty nice carpet, really. Be good enough. Scooby will like it. Right, it's all trimmed now. That's it. There she goes. That's the carpet. Wall-to-wall -wall carpet in a cargo trailer. Not bad. This stuff was, uh, it's got a lot of good fiber in it. It was one of the higher priced ones at Lowe's. But once again, it was just a remnant. So, good enough. All done. Alright, move that junk back in here. Okay, I got the stuff in. I slid the batteries up a little bit. That's about where they're going to sit. I got a frame I'm going to make uh, and put the bed and couch over that. I'll show you here. Check it out. This is a futon from Ikea. Uh, I got it on Craigslist. This lady was getting rid of it. Never used. It's still brand new. No one even sat in it. She just didn't like the size of it. So I got it really cheap. Anyway, I'm building this frame here. I got to raise it up to get over top of the batteries. So it'll sit 11 inches. Plus, if my idea is right, I'm hoping uh, I can. Be, it'll be able to open in the trailer. Hopefully, that'll slide along that wood. And it's just simple 2x4, putting a few screws in it, and then I'll put the legs on the front. And then on the back, I'm just going to use brackets to attach it to the wall. Once again, trying to keep as much weight out of this as possible. And it'll straddle the batteries. And by raising it up, it should sit over top of them okay. Alrighty, and you can see the wood I put around the batteries there. That'll keep them in place from sliding. The inverter, I haven't mounted it yet. I'll do something with that down the road here, but not today. But the batteries, that's where they're going to sit, right over top of the axle, too. Oh, yeah, look at look at uh, my highly trained attack dog here. She's really uh, in her attack mode, you can tell. I'll tell you, if there's a refrigerator door around and you opened it, them eyes would open. <laughs> okay, let her rest. Right in front of the cooler, too. <laughs> Alright, back at this. My wires will go underneath here. Got the bracket screwed into the wall with the frame there, see? So that looks good, and that's solid, too. That ain't going nowhere.
There's my clearance. I laid this board across. I got, see that? About an inch and a half or so above the batteries. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect right there. So, and those are class 27 batteries. And also I left room to add one more battery if I need it. Okay, moment of truth. Here it is. It's sitting on top of the frame. It's in place. Looks good. It's a little bit away from the wall. I like that. I'll try to show you my idea here. Get the camera down here. Okay. When I open it, I'm hoping the metal will slide across the wood. The metal frame needs to slide forward while it, the mattress opens. So right there, uh, hopefully that'll slide. Okay, I'm going to do this one-handed. Pull it forward, latch out, will it open, boom, <laughs> got a bed. How about that? Looks good. Right on. Alrighty. Take a look here. See how the metal frame slid forward along the wood? That turned out perfect. And when you close it, it slides back. So when it's in the upright position, I'll take some bungees and I'll bungee it to the frame or I'll figure out some way so when I'm driving it'll stay in place it won't bounce around so but it worked this is the only way I could come up with make this thing open otherwise it would have had to stick out quite a ways or I would have had to move the couch all the time so but this turned out really cool it's above the batteries over the axle right there sitting there all the weights on there so I'm a happy, happy camper there. Well, cool. I was really concerned how I was going to make all this work without taking up too much room. That's going to work out good. So at least I'll have a place to sit and sleep. Well, I'm going to bundle this thing up and get her loaded and call it a day. I'm still wiped out from yesterday putting on the ceiling panels. So anyway, got quite a bit done today and uh, now I can st really start going on the electrical. You know that's a good deal there. I've noticed too uh, it's a lot cooler in there with the insulation and the paneling on there. So it's all coming together now. Well, I can set the other cabinets, start really laying this thing out and get some wiring done now. It's on its way. Alright, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. I hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe.